Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Growing Up Garden. Today I thought I'd share with you my results from my video, How to Start Seeds with Christmas Wrapping Paper Rolls and Pie Pans. And I'll kind of go over some of the pros and cons of starting your seeds this way. So let's get started. Okay, so here's what I got this year. This is probably the best year I've had starting my own seeds. The previous years I've used the Jiffy um, seed starting kits and I haven't had the best results with those. Um, this year I've seemed to get pretty, pretty nice looking uh, tomato plants out of this method. So I want to go over some of the cons to doing it this way. If you guys haven't seen my video on how I started these, please check that out. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can watch that video first and then come back to this video and uh, I'll give you the information. So some of the cons to planting your seeds in the Christmas wrapping paper rolls or toilet paper rolls. Pull one out. I'll pull this one out. Let's see what it looks like. So some of the cons are, in my video, I put the, I labeled each one of these because I thought it'd be really convenient just to write on this. But what'll happen is these things will start to break down and then you won't be able to read it. So instead of labeling on the, the roll, what you can do is you can just put little stakes like in each block and then write it down on a piece of paper. Or you can put, you know, a, a little uh, labeling, plant labeling thing and then mark, mark it on the, on the stake and then stick it in. I recommend doing it that way. And then, so I'll give you guys another con. The rolls will and do fall apart over time. They start to break down. And as you can see, some of mine are starting to fall apart. They're, they get really delicate. So that's a con. But then another pro to doing it this way is that the roots will actually penetrate the rolls. So if you can, you can plant this whole thing in the ground, I'll show you this tomato plant I got. And the bottoms are open, so the roots would go right to the bottom, but they're actually, the roots are going right through the side of this tomato. And luckily, if you let your tomatoes get big enough, the roots will basically hold the, the you know, the clump of dirt together. So that's a, one of the pros of doing it this way but then the con is they can fall apart. <laughs> and then another con is they do dry out faster. You do have to, you know, come out here every day, and give them a nice mist. I think the peat pots, they, they will stay moist longer. <coughs> but then another pro to doing it this way, it's super cheap. You don't have to buy anything. You just gotta put some nice soil. I mean, you could buy the soil or you can make your own, get your own compost and Make your own potty mix so you can do this for free instead of buying the Jiffy, uh, the Jiffy Greenhouse. So I think that's about it. Um, so my original video I had these in pie pans and what happened to that batch is I was starting to hard, harden the plants off and a lot of them got killed because I um, I screwed up and I forgot them outside for too long. So if you guys are hardening off your, your, your baby plants, bringing them from inside to outside, you know, during the winter, it's, it was pretty cold here during the winter time, but when it started to warm up, I'd bring them out and bring them back in, but then, you know, I get so busy, I forget them outside and then it's too late and then they're all, about half of them are dead. So here's what's left of that first batch. Due, you know, due to uh, my air leaving them outside. So these are my pet, these are pepper plants. I think those are the only ones that survived. And then I started these like a few weeks later, I think. But they, these have been hardened off. So basically, you know, bring them outside in the shade, in a shady area for like, you know, an hour. And then bring them back inside, make sure it's not too cold. Uh, and just keep adding time to that every day until you can leave them outside all day in the sun and then plant them in the garden, which is what I'm about to do right now. I'm, just, I'm about to plant these guys. So I thought I'd share with you 
uh, the pros and cons of planning them out this way. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I want to thank you for watching and we will see you next time.